Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Meet start to finish. So I'm going to show you everything you want to know about this platform because I think it is a great platform for those of you who want to teach online like me. Normally, I use Zoom for my online training. By the way, there's a limitation in the free plan. Now I can only create a meeting up to 40 minutes and after that I have to create a new one. So it is very annoying for me. So I decided to switch to Google Meet to host my meeting. Okay, so hopefully I can help you understand the platform and start using it. All right, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so in order to host a meeting with Google Meet, you need to have a Google account. So it is very easy to create a free one. And then you want to open your Chrome browser. I'm going to open this one and let's open here and select my account. So I'm going to use this one, my Vietnamese account and just click here and then maximize. And now if you want to host a meeting with Google Meet, there's different way you can access to Google Meet. For example, you can go to the web browser and type meet.google and you can also access to your Google Meet from your Gmail account. By the way, for me, I think the easiest way is to click at this button so this is the application of google okay just click here and then you want to click this button meet all right and now this is the home page of google meet and you have, we have some option firstly if you want to create a new meeting you can click this button or if you want to join a meeting with a code or link you can type it right here so for other people if they want to join your meeting they can go to meet.google.com and then they can type the link right here or paste the link right here and for me i'm going to host a meeting so i'm going to click this button new meeting and now we will have some option firstly if you want to create a meeting for later or schedule a meeting then you can click this button but for now i'm going to start an instant meeting okay just click here to start and now wait for the application to access to your camera and to your microphone and your meeting is ready okay so this is my meeting and you can see here on the left side your meeting is ready and now i can add other people by clicking this button add others so if you click here you will have their email address or stuff like that you want to type their email address for example i can type my other other google account we get this one so and then i can send an invitation to them okay just click send and this is the first way to invite other people to join your meeting and the other way is to copy this link just copy this link and then you can send it to their email or messenger or, or anything okay so that is how to invite other people to access your meeting and let's close this one and we got some notification here on the right side okay so this is the home page of your meeting and you have all the button right here but i'm going to explain from the right side to the left okay so right here on the right you have the host control so if you click here if you want to let other people share their screen send chat messages or turn on their microphone or turn on their video all you need to do is to click this button and now they are able to share their screen by the way you can turn off one of them easily for example, if you don't want other people to share their screen, you can just click here to turn it off and it is easy, right? So that is the first button for host control. Okay, so let's close this one and I'm going to enable sharing screen here. Okay, and the next button is the activity button. If you click here at the activity button, you will see some more options. Firstly, if you want to create a whiteboarding or stuff like that you can click here or if you want to play a robot game uh, which is very funny while waiting for other people to join your, your meeting for example I can play here and then I can use my up and down arrow key just like this wow 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 okay so game over okay so let's close this one and the next button is the chat window if you want to see other people uh, typing message on your meeting you can just click here and you can see let everyone send message or you can turn off their message also if I type here I can say hello and other people will see this chat okay just close this one and the other button is the attendance so it is the the people who joined your meeting you can you can click here and now right now I have only me as a host so I don't have other people to join the meeting and you can see some button here if they join the meeting they will be mute from the beginning and you can also add other people right here with this button okay so let's close this one 
and the next button on the right is your meeting information if you click this button you have the link to for joining your meeting and you can copy the joining information right here and also paste it to gmail or other messengers application for other people to join your meeting okay so that finished for the right side and now go back to the center of the meeting and these are the the most important button that you want to learn okay so the first one if you want to leave the meeting or to just turn off the meeting you can click this this button just leave the call or leave the meeting and here you have more option to control your meeting if you click at this button you have more option for example you can start a whiteboard uh, for example, I can click here to start a whiteboard and then I want to start a new whiteboard here. Just click here to start a new whiteboard and it will show a whiteboard here so that I can draw on the screen or write something or stuff like that. For example, I can just draw something here to show other people. Okay, so it is very interesting. And if you want to share this one, you're going to click this button and have the sharing button. Okay, present tab to meeting. If you want to present this whiteboard to other people, you can click this button. Okay, but for now, I'm going to stop it. And some button right here on the right side, you can figure it out yourself. Okay, so let's close this one. And let's click the three dot button again. And then you want to change the layout of the meeting. You can click here. There's some sample layout for you. Auto, title, spotlight, and slider. Uh, slide bar, I'm sorry and we can go with auto if it is the first time you use google meet okay and you can also adjust the side right here by the way we are going to close it and let's close this one and go back to the three dot option so you have the option to go full screen with your meeting because now it is just a window you want to go full screen you can click this button to go full screen so you can concentrate on your meeting okay and we can click the three dot button again and exit the full screen okay and we have some more button right here for example this one this is very interesting you have the ability to apply visual effect to your meeting for example you can change the background also if you click on that and here's the option to blur the background of your video and you can also change the background of your video here uh, which, which is very interesting and down here you have some filter to apply to your camera but now my camera is turned off because I'm currently using it for my screen recording so I will go back to this option after I turn on my integrated webcam on my laptop okay so let's close this one and go back to the three dot option and down here you will have a, an option to turn on the caption in your meeting if I have a meeting with other people who can understand English very well, I will turn on the caption or they, they can turn on the caption at their side. Okay. And if you want to configure the microphone, the video, you can go to this setting button. Okay. Just click here at the setting button to access to your audio. For example, this is the default microphone for this one. And now this is a speaker. And if you select video, you have some option for example this is the camera and this is the Canon 800D which is my EOS webcam utility now I'm going to change it to my integrated webcam okay just select here and then integrated webcam and you have to set, uh, select the resolution also for example the send resolution you want to select high definition video which is HD and the received resolution you want to change it to high definition also okay just select it here and now we can just go back to my laptop and see my video okay so that is for the video and for the caption you can select different language for example you can also select english french german portuguese spanish or stuff like that right here okay by the way i'm going to select english only okay and let's close this one and this is my webcam and let's go back to the background removal and also some filter effect i think it is very interesting just click the three dot button again and then apply visual effect okay and now uh, we have the first option to blur the background as you can see here i have a background here but if i select this one it will blur the background okay and now we can remove the background and replace it with a new one for example i can select this one to change the background of my video my camera just double click to change it oh very nice right but i think the video quality is not very good because it is the viewing webcam on my laptop so i can just okay and you have different background right here and you can even add your own image as a background for example you can select this one and select a, 
an image on your computer okay for example i can see like this one just a random one and then open and now i can use it as a background of my video or my video in the meeting it is very interesting to see like this one okay hello hello <laughs> funny right and you have some more option right here which is very funny uh, is a filter so for example i want to put me inside of this astronaut suit ooh, ooh, ooh. and i can change it to fish hello <laughs> how are you all right so this is a filter in the background and you may want to play around you want to change the background or apply a filter to your meeting okay and to remove all the effect all we need to do is to turn off no effect and no blur okay and that is enough for the three dot option and now if you want to turn on your webcam or turn off your webcam you can also hit this button or turn off the microphone also and finally if you want to share your computer screen a tab or a window on your computer you want to go to this button present now so you want to click here and there will be some option for you for example you can share your entire screen or a window or a tab for example i can click here a window because normally i would not share my full screen because there's some information on my on my computer that i, I don't want to show to other people or to my student okay just click window and now it will show the opening window on your computer and then you can select it and then share so that is simple right and let's click cancel here and the other option is to share a tab on your google chrome for example you can click here and now i can select this new tab to share with other people okay just select the tab and then click share okay so now i'm currently sharing the google tab with other people and if i want to stop the presentation i have a button right here stop presenting and if i want to stop sharing all i need to do is to click this button stop sharing button and now i will go back to my meeting and now let me join the meeting from my phone so that you can see the attendance okay so i'm going to get my phone here and go to my email so we have a meeting invitation right here so just click here to join the call with my name okay and now I can turn on the camera and the audio is the speaker okay so now you have one student and if you want to to see them in your meeting you can just click here at this button and this is the the student and this is the, the one who joined your meeting and you can also remove them from the call uh, with this button okay and you can also turn off their microphone so that they cannot speak during the meeting okay but for now i'm going to remove and now i want to end the meeting all i need to do is to leave the call just click here and end the call for everyone or you want to just leave the call okay so i'm going to end the call for everyone all right, so that is how to use Google Meet to host a meeting for free. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.